There's a question asked by Jamal Abdi Nasir. Assalamu alaikum, brother. May Allah bless you. I'm watching from Edmonton, Canada. And this is a question that came on the Facebook just a couple of minutes back. My question is, how can I achieve the khushu in my prayer? I feel my salah lacks enough khushu. And there is a similar question that has been asked earlier on the WhatsApp. I'll inshallah club them together so that we can answer more questions in a shorter time. This question was asked on the WhatsApp some time before, maybe a couple of days ago. Abdus Soban from Bangladesh, currently living in USA. My question is, could you kindly suggest us some ways or tips to concentrate better in our prayers and gain taqwa, fear of Allah? A similar question is posed by Muhammad Imran Hussein. Assalamu alaikum, sir. My name is Imran from Chittagong, Bangladesh. When I stand in my prayer, I remember the worldly things and I keep thinking over and over again about the moments of talking to my friends. How can I increase my attention in prayer? A similar question again by Zerin Khandakar. Assalamu alaikum, sir. I'm from Bangladesh. Many children and adults ask, what should we imagine while praying to Allah? Should it be the Kaaba or should we ask them to imagine space? And there are many such questions asking mainly on how should we concentrate on a Salah. And this problem of your mind deviating during Salah is common. Don't think it only happens to you. It is very common. It even happened amongst the Sahabas. So this is a common phenomena that your mind deviates when you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you're doing work of Allah, when you're doing da'wah, you know the shaitan tries and comes and deviates you more. And just to make it a light moment, you know, once an imam was praying salah, the maghrib salah, and after the salah was over, the mutaddi says that, imam, you have prayed only two rakat. Imam says, no, no, I prayed three rakat. So one person gets up and says, you have to do it to rakat and I am confident about it. He says, how? Because in my Maghrib Salah, I calculate the profits of my business. Now I wasn't able to complete it. That means you have not finished all the three rakat. Anyway, this is just a joke. Just for a light moment. So your mind does deviate. And though it's a joke, it's a reality. People do even calculate the profit. They even think which business should I deal in? Should I deal in biscuits or should I deal in cold drinks or should I deal in textile? It happens. I've given a full lecture on this. Salah, the programming towards righteousness, which is available on the YouTube. When you read your Salah, I always say that most of the Muslims, they don't understand Arabic as a language. So what we should do, because we are non-Arabs. Our 80% of the Muslims, they're non-Arabs. So more than 80% of us don't know Arabic as a language. So I always tell them that at least you should memorize the meaning of those portion of the Quran that you recite in the Salah. You should know the meaning of Surah Fatiha very well. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Most gracious, most merciful. And so on and so forth. After that you recite the Surahs. The Surahs that you recite, whether it be Surah Ikhlas, whether it be Surah Nas, Surah Falak, whatever surah, see to it that those surahs that you recite in your salah, you should know the meaning very well. Now when you are reciting the Arabic portion in your mind, because you don't know the meaning, only a small portion of your mind is occupied, maybe 5%. 95% of your mind is free. And most of the Muslims, you ask them to recite Surah Fatiha from the middle of the sleep, they will be able to do it. You know, so only a small portion, so the remaining is blank. That is the reason it keeps on wandering. Now, when you recite in Arabic, and when you also, at the same time, translate at the back of your mind, recite in Arabic, at the back of your mind, the meaning is being translated. Now, more portion of your mind is occupied, less chances to deviate. Those who know Arabic as a language, besides reciting, also concentrate on the meaning. It will deviate less. Now, once you start doing this, maybe after a few months, it becomes mechanical. You're reciting in Arabic, you know the translation so well, you can say it in the middle of your night, in the middle of your sleep. So what? Then, besides 
even recollecting the meaning also concentrate on the meaning a human being cannot concentrate on two things together you can concentrate 50 50 person for example while driving a car you are concentrating partly and also talking no problem but if you're reading a book you can read a book and even listen to something else but your concentration is divided but if 100 person you want to concentrate on reading the book and the meaning you cannot do 100 person reading the book and understanding the meaning and doing something else no so similarly when you are reading the salah in your salah when you're reciting the quran recollect the meaning concentrate on the meaning the more you concentrate on the meaning less will your mind deviate and less chances these evil thoughts will come less chances you will think of something else but to concentrate if you know the meaning if you don't know the meaning how will you concentrate this is the most important factor for concentrating and for getting khushu in salah and you try this it will get you wonders but your concentration level also keeps on differing the more you concentrate the more you will get the khushu in salah even for the children tell them the meaning of surah fatiha of surah ikhlas and that time it's not necessary that you have to think of something concentration itself occupies your mind you don't have to see an image i don't see any image yes if you don't have anything then you may have to bring an image like kaaba etc but when you're concentrating on the meaning image is not required and you'll get the real khushu hope that answers the question in brief for more details you can see my talk on salah the programming towards that